Joanna, Jo, Jo, Joanna. How you do me like hey, Joanna? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a while since I posted a lock update for you guys and let you guys know how my journey is going. It has been about a couple of months now. Um, I know that it probably was like the last time I posted was in maybe March, April, May, I don't know, something like that. I don't really remember. I thought I was at my last video. <clears throat> Excuse me, to see when the last time I posted a lock update. Um, today is August. 27th. I am currently a little over seven months locked at this point in my journey. Um, so it has been quite some time because I think the last time I updated you guys, I was either three or four months locked or something like that. So it has been quite some time since I posted. Um, you guys, now before I get into my lock update, I'll let you guys know what's going on with my hair. Um, I want to give a special shout out to someone who um, has really been here for me and who has definitely been like my encourager the person who if not for this person like I don't know what I'll be doing right now guys so just giving a shout out to my baby anyways on to the video you guys so if you guys cannot tell so that was a quick 360 for you guys if you guys cannot tell from like my last video um, I'm gonna try to insert like a clip or something. I don't know. I'm gonna try to definitely insert a clip from when I first started my lock journey. But my hair has gotten so thick. Like, I mean, super thick. And the thing about that is, like, I know it's gonna get even thicker because, like, there's some locks in here um, that are st still not fully, like, not, well, they have, they're not gonna be fully locked for a while, but um, there are some locks in here that still haven't, like, thickened up um, because I go in and I retwist them um, depending on like what my hair is doing at that time and if I need to retwist if I feel like there's gaps in my hair things of that nature so there's quite a few locks that are not even like fully swollen at this point but my hair is like super super thick like to the point where at the beginning of my journey I was able to put my hair into a ponytail um, without problem um, and it was pretty fairly easy at this point in my journey I just take like my hair, I put my hair up and I can only fit like the um, the band around it like one time and that's it. Like I need bigger bands. And even so, like trying to fit all my hair in my hands, it takes a lot of effort. It really does. So I know my hair has been thickening up and it's like, at first it was driving me crazy a little bit because I was like, dang, like I don't know if I want this much thickness. But then after a while I'm like, yeah, I definitely want that much thickness in my hair. Like especially for my locks because as they get longer, I want them to be nice and thick. I don't want them to be thin locks or anything like that. Nothing wrong with thinner locks. Some people like um, the look of having like their hair nice and thinner as they, you know, it falls, it falls down. And as it does fall, um, it will become probably a little bit thinner. So we'll see about that as my journey continues. Um, but some things that have been going on with my hair, like I said, my hair has become a lot fuller, which I'm loving. Um, I do find that I still have to go in um, because I do see that some of my locks unravel. Now that it, ha it has been seven months, I'm starting to notice less of my locks unraveling, but like towards the beginning of my journey and like still kind of now, I'm still having to um, go back in and take some of my locks and retwist them around because they are starting to um, unravel at some point in my, um, you know, in my hair journey. Another thing is, this one right here, and this, this right here, these two, these, these are two locks right here, and this is one lock right here. These are my, um, how do people call it? I don't know, um, my problem locks, I would say. Well, I'm not, I'm trying to just like, you know, let them do their own thing, but those are my two locks that don't mesh with the rest. Like, when my hair shrinks up, these two or these three stand out. They don't want to do the rest. They don't. They don't want to do like the rest of my hair or anything like that. So I find myself a lot of the times um, I put water on them to like shrink up these two, and then I like kind of scrunch it. Um, but probably by the end of the day, they're already falling out. This one in particular, I did. Um, I was having a little bit of issue with it, so I started braiding it, and that's why this one um, it just doesn't shrink. Like that. So that's those two right there. 
Um, the last time I checked in with you guys, I do believe my locks were around 10 inches on each side. I think there was one side where they were like 8 inches or something like that. I can't remember what the back or what or something, but they were around 10 inches. The last time I checked, which was probably about less than a month ago, they were hitting around 11 inches. Um, yeah, 11 inches at that time. I don't know where my hair is at now. Um, because again, it's in a shrunken state. It's actually in um, its most natural state right now. Um, it hasn't been washed in a couple of weeks. It hasn't been washed. Um, yeah, it hasn't been washed in a couple of weeks. Uh, it hasn't been stretched out like I usually would stretch it out. Um, I usually will take some oil and some water and some conditioner, mix it together in a bottle. I'll spray my hair with that. I haven't been using that mixture in about a week, and I, I I don't know why I have not done it. It's kind of like a lazy thing. Like I'm doing a lot of times, and then sometimes I'm not. So I don't really like that aspect, but I do need to get back into oiling my hair consistently, like I'm supposed to be doing. Um, the next thing about my hair is that. Um, I've been finding that I'm not getting as much as much lift in, um, lift in my hair. Um, I used to find a little bit of length, and I think it was because I was not sleeping with my satin cap on. I have been sleeping with my satin cap, and I'm finding that I'm not really getting any, maybe a little bit, if at all. Like, I'm not really finding that issue. I do know that some people have that issue where they're finding lint in their hair, and I have not experienced that as much, like, so I'm really grateful for that because I thought that was going to be something I was going to have to deal with, but I'm not, I don't know what this journey ahead will be like, but I'm hoping that, you know, I still don't have to deal with that issue. So that's another thing. I will be doing a lock, another lock tour, updated lock tour, um, shortly after this video, um, just going over, like, my full head and um lens checks and things of that nature just to show you guys like how my locks are looking like kind of give you guys a good detailed video on how my locks look from the inside um but just to give you guys a little bit of um, kind of a little bit of what's going on now as you guys can see as you guys do know i do not have no grid i don't see it necessary to have a grid some people do it just worked for me to not have a grid. It makes it a lot easier for me to go ahead and um, retighten my hair because I don't have to worry about having my hair parted in certain ways or have to worry about if my grid is staying there or anything like that. I don't have any of those worries and I love it. So yes, you guys, I do not have a grid and I absolutely love how my hair looks without one. And it makes it, I, I personally think that it makes my hair look a lot fuller. And going into this lock journey, knowing that I would have to be doing a lot of my retightenings by myself unless like later on I decide to get a loctician to help me or anything like that. But right now I knew that I would be retightening my hair myself. So there was no point in me getting it ready and trying to maintain that by myself. It was just not happening. And I'm happy I went that route because you guys, I love how like my hair is super full. I can only imagine how my hair is going to look as it gets longer. Like I'm here for the journey. But yes, you guys, so here is like a little bit of what my hair is looking like from the inside. Um, yeah. A little bit of how it looks. I don't know if you guys can see this really well. I hope so. Because, yeah, this is how my hair is looking. There is no grid. Remind you guys, um, I did not use no combs to part my hair to form any grid. So, um, yeah, and if you guys do remember, I think I did state that a lot of my locks are different sizes because of that, and I do not mind it, but yes, here's how my hair is looking. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, I might miss a couple of things, um, I don't know, because I didn't write down, like, everything that has been going on in my journey. But another thing I'm realizing is that a lot of the front of my hair, you guys, is a lot smaller than the back of my hair. Um, yeah, I find that a lot of my locks in the front are smaller than the ones in the back. So I am considering um, 
well, I don't even want to say considering. I am going to be um, two strand in the, the front half of my hair. Like I'm going to take two locks that are side by side and I'm going to go ahead and interlock them together to um, form bigger locks for them because, yeah, I, I, I don't, I know that they're all going to be different sizes being that I didn't go with a gray. But I still want them to like, you know, be somewhat the same, like not completely, totally different. So that's another thing. Another thing with my hair, sorry I'm clapping, but another thing with my hair is that um, in the beginning and like a couple of months into my lock journey, you guys can see the, um, the two strand twist pattern. A lot of that is gone. Like, I just finished my, um, my interlocking today, this is my third time doing my retightening on my hair. Yes, I know it's been seven months and I've only retightened my hair three times, I know. Um, but I am starting to see less of my um, pattern from my two strand twist, which I am loving because it's just showing me a lot that my hair is starting to lock up a lot more. And again, that is something that I'm loving. Um, cons of my lock journey, there's not too many that I can think of right now about cons of my lock journey. I do know that like when I get into the shower and I wet my hair, um, I do not always band my hair, which I do not recommend. I recommend banding your hair. Um, I don't know how long, but I am seven months in and I still feel like I need to band my hair because if I don't, then I do find that a lot of my ends will unravel. And it's just a form of laziness sometimes that yeah, I just need to stop being lazy at times and just go ahead and make up my hair. Um, even when you're getting into the pool and going to the beach or things like that because I have gone to the beach. And usually when I'm going to the beach or if I go in the pool or something of that nature, like, I don't feel like banding my hair. So what I do do is take both my hair, um, both sides of my hair, my hair, sorry, I... Um, parted down the middle and then I either braid the sides and then I just have like two little pigtail braids or I have like two little pigtail twists and those have been my go-to styles um, for quite some time. I am going to be coming to you guys with a video on some lock styles that I have been rocking and then some that I do absolutely love and some that I probably wear way too often. But yes, you guys, that is my lock update. If you guys have any questions, you can um, ask me in the comments below. Um, if I missed anything, I will be making another video and I will go through anything that I missed in that video. Other than that, you guys, um, please let me know about how your lock dreams are going in the comments. Um, if you have any pros to be unlocked, if you have any cons to be unlocked, if you're considering being unlocked, let me know, you know. Um, I want to hear about your journeys. I do tend to be on YouTube quite a lot looking at lock videos um, because I am obsessed with people with locks. Uh, I love my locks and I love how other people look with them. So, yeah, there you go. Um, anyways, you guys, thanks for joining me on this lock update. Um, stay tuned to another video where I will be doing styles. Oh, also, <laughs> I don't even understand why I did not mention this, but if you guys know it is something different, I have a new hair color. So I did record that process of me coloring my hair, but yes, you guys, I have a new hair color. And I love it. So, I don't know why I didn't mention that at first, but that is a difference. I have a So, anyway, you guys, thank you for watching this video um, and, you know, sticking through to the end if you watch it to the end. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will be seeing you in my next video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hit you one BBM, you OPN.